Hello, my name is Barend van Wijk. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology, and I want to welcome all our new students to our faculty. The motto of the Nelson Mandela University is change the world. And if it's your passion to contribute to society and bring about a positive change in the world, then you came to exactly the right place. I want you to know that by joining our faculty, you are embarking on a very significant journey to make South Africa, Africa and the world a better place for all living beings. How do we change the world? By designing better and more sustainable buildings, circuit boards, bridges, computer networks, computer applications, ocean gliders, autonomous vehicles, roads, architectural wonders and mechanical devices. Engineers, technologists, IT and built environment specialists play a crucial role in the functioning of society and in building a more sustainable future. If you are interested in reading more about the world-changing activities and achievements of your faculty, I want to invite you to download our annual ID8 publication from our faculty website. The latest edition focuses on entities in our faculty and their contributions to society. During the 2019-2020 academic year, our faculty through our entities have assisted more than 500 companies, organizations and individuals to improve the lives of the citizens in our region and country. Our Center for Community Technologies, for example, pioneered ICT and mobile application innovations, including rolling out a COVID-19 screening tool to 5,100 schools in the Eastern Cape and providing the ICT support for the Nelson Mandela Bay 3,500 bed field hospital, which is the only paperless public sector hospital in Nelson Mandela Bay. The Advanced Engineering Design Group during the pandemic worked with local specialists to develop an intubation unit and hospital theatre accessories to prevent contagion in operating theatres, and ENSA 3D printed 14,000 medical face shields primarily for frontline medical workers in the Eastern Cape. While studying, you are part of a new family called the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology, or EBET for short. Let us see how our EBET family fits together. Our faculty is divided into four schools, namely Engineering, the Built Environment, Architecture and Information Technology. I want you now to take a few moments and find the name of your school. Each school has a director. Your first task is to get to know the name of your director. Each school in turn is subdivided into departments. For example, the School of Engineering has five departments. Electrical, Mechanical, Mechatronics, Marine and Industrial. Each department has a head, called the Head of Department, or the HOD, which you will meet during the next session. Your second task is to know the name of your HOD. If you have serious administrative or other challenges, this is the person you should contact. The contact details of your department can be found on the faculty website. Like any family, we have some family values, some principles that guide and govern what we do, and I would like to share these with you. First of all, we are not spectators. We participate and we go for gold. Can you recognize this famous soccer player? Yes, I'm sure all of you can. It's Lionel Messi. Have you ever wondered how he became a soccer superstar? Certainly not by sitting in the benches and being a spectator. He participated, he practiced, he put in the sweat, the effort and the time. I'm sure you are also ready to do the same. 
The course you are enrolled for is described in a document called the Faculty Prospectus and is available on our faculty website. If you add up all the credits of the modules in your first year, you will see that it adds up to between 120 and 140 credits. What does this mean? If you multiply the credits by 10, you get the hours of work required. So if a subject is 10 credits, it means that you need to put in at least 100 hours of work. This includes lectures, assignments, studying and exams. 120 credits per year therefore requires at least 1200 hours of work per year. How many of these hours will you be in class or in online lectures? The answer is between 20 and 30 percent. That is about 400 hours. The rest of the time you will have to plan and put in yourself. You will therefore have to actively engage for at least 600 hours per semester, which equates to about 40 hours per week, which is extremely doable if you plan properly and make sure you are not falling behind. If, for example, you work six days a week, this translates to about seven hours per day. Since each semester is only a little bit longer than four months, you will have to meticulously plan your time and work extremely focused. As a family, we get involved. We get involved in faculty activities, but we also get involved in sport and cultural activities. Study after study showed that if you embrace campus life and become part of an academic network, your chance of success dramatically improves. I want to invite you to participate in the many sport, cultural and support activities our university offers. I also want to invite you to get involved by following the faculty and your school on our Facebook and other social media channels. It is here where we celebrate our successes and where we inform you about opportunities, bursaries, talks and other important events. As a family, we believe in Ubuntu. Nelson Mandela once said, Do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. If someone in our faculty struggles, we reach out and we help him or her get back up on their feet again. I want to invite you to be a lifeline to your fellow students. Let us each reach out, assist and support each other on our journey. And last but not least, we as a family treasure and look after our environment. Our faculty is mainly located on the North Campus in Summerstrand, but also has one department on the South Campus and one department at the George campus. Let us therefore appreciate that we have the privilege to work and play on one of the most beautiful university campuses in the world, surrounded by nature and the ocean. Let us enjoy our environment and treasure it as a precious gift. We keep it clean, we leave a human footprint that is litter free, we preserve our grounds and our buildings for future generations. This brings me to the end of my welcoming address. I want to wish you well with your studies and trust that your time at the Nelson Mandela University will be the best years of your life. Let us change the world.